Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, bless you. Bless you. What's
be available on klkcradio.com. Got uh, Mr. Zach Gilmore taking care of things on the on the uh, video end. We'll have that up here momentarily, but in the meantime, we'll take a three-minute break and have more coverage of Parsons High School basketball right here on V93. We're in commercial break right now, so. Hey, John, go ahead and bring it back to us after this uh, commercial. Doesn't look like you're going to do an anthem. back here yeah. Yeah, we're back here to Fort Scott just underway the tip came off while we were uh, in the break we'll get you starting lineups here momentarily Fort Scott's got the first possession Madison Cook lost the handle of the ball in the paint but it was last touched by Nina Taylor for Parsons Vikings going with the starting lineup of Allie Hicks Nina Taylor Ariane McClory Ayana Correll and Sidney Kroll and it's a turnover by Cook as she tried to get it outside to Jenny Denton. Uh, we'll give it to the Vikings. As we mentioned, Madison Cook, six foot seniors in the starting lineup, as well as Jenny Denton for the Tigers. Skyler Brown, number 11. Carson Dwyer, number 30. Kelsey Nelson, number 40. Round out the starting five for Pashawn Steps, Fort Scott Tigers. Nina Taylor on the drive. She misses, gets her own rebound, kicks it back out. And Allie Hicks with a jumper from about 15 feet. Cracks the scoreboard first for the Vikings. They're up 2 nothing. Matt Newberry with you. Subbing in for Scott Marlow tonight here from Fort Scott, Kansas. Brown with the basketball. One dribble to her left. She'll bounce it between the circles to Dwyer. Now it's in the hands of Denton. Up top to Brown. Brown on the near side wing to Dwyer. Dwyer goes into the post to Cook. Back out. It goes for Brown. Three-pointer is good. And just like that, Fort Scott Takes a 3-2 lead. 6.46 to go here, opening quarter, just underway. Nina Taylor dribbles, going to her right. Now kicks it around the opposite side to Hicks. Now in the hands of Correll. Correll, long, short. Rebound on a bounce to Skyler Brown. Brown down the far side to Dwyer. Carson Dwyer back to Brown. She's going to drive to the elbow, kick it out. Take it by Denton, goes back to Brown. 
And Brown will reset. Now she's going to try a three-pointer. Top of the key. Back iron, no good. Rebound on a bounce to the, the near side, Jenny Denton. Now she'll reset it with Brown. Brown over to Dwyer on the far wing. Now it's Cook. Back to Brown. Brown's going to dribble into the circle, go outside, try to, try to get it inside to Nelson, but nice post defense by the Vikings. They force the turnover. Correll gets it to Taylor. You know, Taylor, thought about three, but Brown with the defense. She'll kick it out. Allie Hicks dribbles between the circles. Goes back to Taylor on the far wing. Crossover dribble, drives, makes contact. They're going to call the charge. First foul of the game called on the Vikings, Nina Taylor. And that comes at the 544 mark. If you're watching our live stream on klkcradio.com, it's courtesy tonight of Zach Gilmore. He's at the controls. Appreciate his help. Double team on Brown, but she's able to get it to Cook on the wing. Underneath on the opposite side, Carson Dwyer converts the layup. First two-pointer for the Tigers. They're up 5-2. Ayana Carell, nice little move, goes behind her back, tries to get away from the defender, but her... Post entry pass is stolen away by Cook. Nice hustle, diving to get the loose ball. She gets it to Denton. Denton tries to lead pass to Dwyer, but it's picked up by Crow on two bounces. Nina Taylor will bring it into the front court now with no pressure by the Tigers. Five minutes to go, first quarter. By down, down three. Correll to she's going to drive and dish. Crow's got it. And her shot is off the mark, no good. Rebounded on the near side corner by Brown. Skyler Brown, point guard, will loop a pass into the front court to Dwyer. Dwyer to Nelson in the corner, back to Dwyer. Around the horn it goes to Cook. She'll try. Tiger Dome, Fort Scott High School, Fort Scott, Kansas. Time for game two of our SEK League doubleheader between the Parsons Vikings and the host Fort Scott Tigers. Matt Newberry with you. Subbing in for Scott Marlow this evening. Got uh, Zach Gilmore running the streaming camera. You can watch us online at klkcradio.com or you can listen to us on B93 FM with our man John Flanagan at the controls back on the in the studio on Main Street in Parsons, keeping. Luke Martin, not one of the starters. Usually Matt Campbell is the one in the starting lineup, but since he's a member of the class of 2018, they're going to him a little present for his impending graduation. We're ready to go. Jordan Hall and Devontae Yates will jump center. Crowd is filled in quite nicely, almost 
to capacity here. This isn't a very big gymnasium to begin with, and it is almost full. Tip goes out of bounds off someone kneeling on the sidelines. And it hit a young lady there on the knee on the carom. Ball will go to Fort Scott to start. Jesse Lawrence with it. He gets another handoff from Hall. Lawrence to Michaud. Michaud high post to Hall. Back out top to Jones. Jones try the three-pointer. It's off the mark. Nice box out by Yates to keep Luke Martin from getting the basketball. Here comes the Vikings. Long lead pass to Shiby. He'll drive the baseline off the glass, draws the foul. First foul game call on Jesse Jones. He will step to the line. Joel hits the first one. Matching his offensive output when these teams met the first time back in Parsons on the 30th of January. He just had the point against Fort Scott that night. Going to double that here, but he can't get the shot to go. Nice rebound by Lone Holt. He can't get this foul to fall. Nice rebound by Yates. Can't get it to go. Misho with the rebound for Fort Scott. One nothing Vikings. The other way, Hall stuffs himself once, twice. And the ball goes off the hands of Zeke Lyons on the baseline back to Fort Scott. Jordan Hall was too far into the basket. He tried to jam it up twice, but kept hitting the crook of the rim both times. He basically just stuffed himself. Jones to inbound, it gets it to Lawrence. Now Misho with it. Near side wing to Jones, thought about a three, pumps it back, goes over to Misho. Misho gets a screen from Hall, dribbles on the far wing. Pass tipped, but Misho was able to get it for a second. Lodeholt knocks away from him again, now Yates with it. Down the court it goes, layup is good from Zeke Lyons. The assist to Daquan Johnson, 3-0. Parsons with the early advantage. Misho in the near wing, picked up by Scheibe. Man-to-man, -man, almost. Nope, they're going to play a matchup zone, it looks like. 2-3. Jesse Jones with it. And a whistle away from the ball. There's, there's a battle on the block between Jordan Hall and Zeke Lyons. Zeke Lyons first, team first. So an inbound pass finds Jordan Hall. He goes to Martin, had it tipped away for just a second, but Luke able to recover. Now Alec Misho with it. 6.30 to go, 3-0 Vikings. Jesse Jones gives it up to Misho. Misho across to Hall. Now Lawrence with it. Lodeholtz picks him up in the matchup. Down low it goes to Luke Martin. He can't get his shot to go, and Devontae Yates fouled going for the rebound. Martin picks it up, his first. Team second. Back come the Vikings. As they hold that 3-0 lead. Zeke Lyons pulls up for a 17-footer, rattles it in. Four for Zeke, five for the Vikings as they lead 5-0. Fort Scott, if you're listening on the radio, wearing the home whites. Red numerals trimmed in red and black. Three-pointer on the way for Jesse Lawrence. No good. Michaud boards it. Kicks it out to Hall. Hall, nice move under the baseline. And he scores. Fort Scott on the board at the 534 mark. Back the other way comes Zeke Lyons. Goes off the hand of, I believe, Jordan Hall. And out of bounds. Ball stays with Parsons. Matt Campbell will enter the lineup. Luke Martin, the senior, will take his seat. So the normal starting five now on the floor for the Tigers. Lyons goes inside to Johnson. Johnson draws contact. Jesse Lawrence gets his first personal, third on the squad. Two shots coming up for Daquan Johnson, the six-foot sophomore. Right-handed shot, rims in. 
That's his first point. 6-2. One more coming up for the six-foot sophomore, Daquan. This time, church music. 7-2, leads back to five. As we have 5.20 to play here opening quarter. Jones to Michaud on the near wing. Up to Campbell. Campbell tries a post-entry pass. Patch low holes. Intercepts. Here come the Vikings. Johnson. Bounce pass to Yates. Yates can't get it to go off the glass. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up strong. Blocked by Jordan Hall. Here come the Tigers. And we have a whistle and a foul. I think we get a low holes for a reach in. Nope, not real sure what they called there. But the ball will stay with Fort Scott. It may have been a held ball, I'm not sure. Matt Campbell with it. Jones on the near, or on the far wing rather, to J Jesse Lawrence. His shot way off the mark. Someone threw that through my window, I'd be calling 911. Nice pass, pass for Holtz, wide open underneath. And Zeke Lyons finds him for the bucket. That's going to force Jeff De La Torre. 18-year veteran head coach to call a 30-second timeout. We'll take it. Parsons 9, Fort Scott 2, back in 30 on V93. V93.5, we have a full day of entertainment just for you, our favorite listener. Check out Terry Blackburn in the morning. Spend your lunch hour with our Taco Mayo 80s and 90s at noon. Matt B, get you through your workday with the afternoon hit mix. Spend your evening with the Zach Sang Show straight out of Hollywood. And last but not least, it's a throwback party every weekend on V93.5. Parsons Vikings basketball is brought to you by Clemens Insurance Company, located at 401 North 16th Street. For all your insurance needs, call Jerry Clemens at 620-421-9999. An even better pass from Zeke Lyons to convert the bucket. Enforce the timeout just called by Jeff De La Torre. We're ready to go now. Fort Scott will inbound with no pressure. And Jesse Jones with it. Six-foot senior matched up with Zeke Lyons. Now Lawrence with it. Passes up the handoff opportunity, goes to Hall. Near side to Michaud. Post entry, nice defense by Daquan Johnson. Here come the Vikings. Zeke Lyons converts on the other end with a layup. Six points on a beautiful floor length pass by the Vikings. Michaud with it. Now Hall to Lawrence. Goes in the baseline corner to Campbell. Campbell skip past to Michel, open for the three. It's off the mark, no good. As Lodeholtz will get the rebound and bring it on his own. A little out of control, but had just enough control to draw some contact and get a foul called on the Tigers. Campbell will call for the personal, his first, team's fourth. C.J. Horton, 6'4", sophomore, checks in the lineup for Fort Scott. Dariq Williams is in the lineup as Fort Scott allows that nice dunk for Devon Day Yates. And immediately, Jeff De La Torre calls another timeout. We'll take a 30-second.
Fort Scott. Final score was 46-36 in that one. Here at halftime, 37-26, Parsons leading after losing almost half of a 20-point lead that they held with 5.41 to go in the second quarter. Fort Scott will inbound to start the period, and it's Alec Michaud bringing it across the timeline. Joel Scheibe will pick him up. Oh, Jordan Hall got wide open in the man-to-man, -man, and the lead is under single figures, 37 to 26. Or 37-28, rather. Hall now with 11 points. Shot off the mark, rebounded by the aforementioned Hall. Here come the Tigers with it. Michaud, Jesse Lawrence in the corner to Matt Campbell. Campbell, long skip pass to Michaud. On the block it goes to Hall. He's double teamed. Now back out to Michaud. He drives, tries to go for the dish, but good post denial by Patch Lodeholtz to knock it out of bounds. The ball stays with Fort Scott as they'll inbound on the far side. Matt Campbell will trigger right in front of the Fort Scott pet band, or what's left of it here as they take their halftime break. Jesse Jones with it. Manned up with Zeke Lyons. High post pass to Hall. Load holds on him. Back to Michaud, top of the circle. A little switch there as Lodeholtz will take Michaud. A little matchup situation, but Lodeholtz comes from behind and knock it out of the hands of Hall. Force the turnover. Here come the Vikings with it, up by nine. On the block to Yates. He makes a move in the lane, turn around. It bounces off, no good. Rebound Yates, bounced it off his foot and off his face as he's holding his head. Officials will stop play as they are concerned about a head injury with Devontae Yates as he uh, just took a bad bounce right there. He's trying to get control of the loose basketball, bounced it off his toe and right up into his, I suspect, into his nose and right eye as he's rubbing that right eye as Coach Houck escorts him to the bench. Dariq Williams will replace him in the lineup. Fort Scott will inbound at the site of the injury. And Jesse Lawrence will bring it across. 37-28, nine-point Parsons lead. Jones for three, good! Now it's down to six. 37-31. Jones, five points now in the ball game. Shivey driving the baseline. Kick out the Lions. Back to Shivey on the wing. He's going to drive. Scoop shot won't go. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson puts it back up. Too strong. Lawrence with the rebound. Jesse Lawrence knocked out of his hands, but he gets it back. He's going to take it all the way to the rack, but it's knocked out of there by Shivey. He saves it, but in the hands of Hall. Hall up off the glass. Rims out. No good. Rebounded by da Daquan Johnson. Johnson in transition, but his pass intercepted by Jones. Looping pass to Lawrence intercepted. Here comes Daquan Johnson again. Fast and furious. Not a lot of scoring, but a lot of action. 5.38 to go, 37-31. Parsons only up by six now after leading by 20 midway in the second quarter. Dariq Williams. Now Lions pump fake goes down low to Johnson. Johnson tries to get it to load holds. He can't handle it. Loose ball picked up by Jones. Four on one break. Now four on two. Michaud converts the pass from J Lawrence. It's a four-point game. Michaud is seven, 37-33. Parsons on the verge of blowing a 20-point lead here early in the third. Pass goes off the official. And out of bounds. Second time the ball has found the noggin of somebody on this side of the floor, and this time it's the guy in stripes. Timeout called by Anthony Houck. He's got to regroup the troops as they're only up by four now with 4.58 to go. 37-33. Back in one minute on V93.
V93.5. We have a full day of entertainment just for you, our favorite listener. Check out Terry Blackburn in the morning. Spend your lunch hour with our Taco Mile 80s and 90s at noon. Matt B. gets you through your workday with the afternoon hit mix. Spend your evening with the Zach Sang Show straight out of Hollywood. And last but not least, it's a throwback party every weekend on V93.5. Parsons Vikings Basketball is brought to you by Clemens Insurance Company, located at 401 North 16th Street. For all your insurance needs, call Jerry Clemens at 620-421-9999. Fort Scott will inbound in front of the Parsons bench after the timeout by Hauk. A two possession game as they're down by four. Alec Michaud will dribble to the left hand side, set up on the wing. Top of the circle to Lawrence. He's going to drive the right side of the lane, put it off the glass too strong. Hall couldn't handle the board. It was knocked out of his hands by, I believe, Patch Lodholtz. Jones the trigger under the basket. Knocked away. Nice defense by Zeke Lyons. Dariq gets it over to Daquan. Daquan converts. First points of the third quarter for Parsons. Gets it back up to a six-point advantage. 39-33. Campbell. Near side it goes to Jones. Jones to Misho. Misho down low to Hall. Check that. Campbell. Campbell lost the handle. Gets it back to Jones. Jones to Hall on the high post. Elbow jumper. Good. Hall's got 13, 39, 34, excuse me, 35, a four-point Parsons lead. Long pass by Shibe, tipped over to Dariq Williams, back over to Lyons. Now Shibe with it. On to the baseline, a lazy pass knocked away by Hall, intended for Daquan Johnson. Sub for Parsons. Devontae Yates is in for Johnson. He could use... A breather. He's a little bit worn out. A lot of action end to end, just not a lot of scoring for Parsons. Lions in the corner to Shibe. Down low it goes to Lodholtz. He's double teamed, and they're going to whistle a foul on a reach in by Jesse Lawrence. That's going to be his third. First foul of the second half on either squad. And it'll be Nick Lawrence checking in for. Matt Campbell. So we have Nick Lawrence and Jesse Lawrence on the floor. Jesse a senior, Nick a junior. Inbound pass goes to Yates. He's fouled. And he'll get a pair of free throws courtesy of the Tigers. It'll be Nick Lawrence picking up his second personal, second team foul. Yates with four points in the first half. Did not attempt a free throw in the first 16 minutes. Right-handed shot is good. 40-35. One more for the 6'3 junior, Devontae Yates. Taking his time. He's got 10 seconds when he gets the ball. He uses every bit of it, and it works. He scored. Yates with six, 41-35. And Shibe's going to have a seat as Daquan Johnson returns. 3.46 to go in the third quarter. As Jesse Lawrence breaks the center stripe, goes to Nick, back to Jesse. Low post to Hall, and they're going to get Lodeholtz going over the back to try to deny Hall. That's just his first personal foul, I believe. It is, yeah. First team foul of the half on the Vikes. So Hall will trigger, or check that Jones will trigger into the basket. And Michaud takes the looping pass between the circles. Near side it goes to Jesse Lawrence. He's going to pull up for the 15-footer. It's too strong. Nick Lawrence with the board. He's fouled going up. They're going to get Dariq Williams for this one. His second, team second. And two shots coming up for 
Nick Lawrence. Six points in the first half for him. He only had two in the first meeting. First free throw is good. Luke Waldemann checks in. He's got three personal fouls. Patch Lodeholtz will have a seat. Second free throw for Nick Lawrence is good. 41-37. Back to a four-point advantage for Parsons. Does Parsons have another run in him? Now we've got a discussion by Jeff Delatore with one of the officials and just wanted to check something. I think he's just happy his team's back in this ballgame after seeing a 20-point deficit in the first half. Dariq Williams goes to Lions, high post to Yates. Now Daquan Johnson with it to Lions. Now Dariq back to Zeke. He's going to drive the baseline. Floater won't go. Yates with the board. His putback bounces in. Yates with eight. 43-37. Kick out by Nick Lawrence. Now in the hands of Jesse. C.J. Horton with it. He pulls up in the lane, and he drug his pivot foot. C.J. Horton is the son of the former Fort Scott Greyhound football coach, Curtis Horton, who this last season was the head coach at Diamond High School in Missouri. C.J. and his sister and mom stayed in Fort Scott. Dad's living in a little apartment in Diamond Mo. The life of a, of a football coach with kids in high school. Floater by Yates, no good. Rebounded by Nick Lawrence, but his pass too short. Picked off by Daquan Johnson. Now it's Williams to Shibe. Shibe's going to drive, cut, pass to Dariq. And now we've got trouble on the far sideline as Daquan Johnson is now disabled and on his backside as he started favoring his left leg a few seconds ago before he fell to the court. Might be a cramp the way it's looking right now. As Fort Scott's athletic trainer comes out to assist Coach Houck and Coach Dixon. Can't put any weight on it yet as he's he's definitely looking at probably something with the calf muscle. He's able to put some weight on it now. They're going to probably walk him to the locker room or at the very least off to the side let him stretch that out a little bit. Parsons will retain possession. As... Walgman came in to replace Daquan. Shibe with it in the corner to Dariq Williams. Long pass to Lyons. Three-pointer on the way. Short. Yates with the board. Looking down low to Walgman. Walgman works his way under the basket. Reverse layup is good. Walgman, six in the first half. He's got his first two in the second there. 45-37. The lead is back to eight. Misho's going to drive, draw some contact, and get a couple of free throws with 132 on the clock. And Joel Shibe whistled for his third personal foul, third team foul. Misho, two for two with the line in the first half. He's got seven points in the ball game, makes the first one here. Campbell back in, Jordan Hall to get a breather. 45-38 our score. One more for Misho. And he gets it. Lee is back to six at 45-39. For Scott met him at the line. Shibe gets the pass. Long three. No good. Misho with the board. Long outlet to Campbell. Campbell having trouble getting control of the ball. He can't do it. 
Tipped out of bounds by Scheibe. Valiant effort for the save by Dariq Williams. But it will stay with the Tigers. 118 on the clock. Parsons holding a six-point lead at the moment. Carter Golston gets it in to Nick Lawrence. Up top to Michaud. Near side to Golston. Golston back to Michaud. Now Golston again in front of the bench for Fort Scott. Top of the circle to Nick Lawrence. Now Jones. Misho, three-pointer on the way. No good. Way off the mark to the right. Rebounded by Williams. Bounce pass to Scheibe. He has to slow down to get it. It was behind him. And they are going to whistle the foul on Joel Scheibe as he tried to back in on the post. And that is his fourth. Fourth team foul. Patch Lodeholtz is going to come in, and Scheibe's going to have a seat. Five on the floor for Parsons are Lions, Williams, Lodeholtz, Yates, and Wolgamut. We've got Daquan Johnson battling a cramp, and Joel Scheibe in foul trouble. Nick Lawrence on the block, can't get his shot to go. Board by Campbell. Campbell, his putback attempt rims in. First bucket for Matt Campbell. And it's back down to a four-point lead, 45-41, 28 seconds to go. Back the other way, Yates is fouled. Falls hard on that ceramic tile floor just off the baseline here in the Tiger Dome. Foul is called on Campbell, his third, team third. Yates at the line with two. He's two for two. And can't get the first one to go home. Jordan Hall back in as it appears that Campbell is going to have a seat now with that third foul. One more free throw for Yates. This one crawls in. He's three for four. Five in the second half, nine in the ball game for him. 46-41. The lead is five with 19 seconds to go in quarter number three. Michel going to wait it out, take the last shot for the Tigers. Hall with it. Now it's Nick Lawrence, back to Michel on the wing. They go down low to Hall. He puts it up, counted, and he's fouled with 4.5 on the clock. 46-43. Fourth foul on Wolgamut. Team foul number five, and Hall with a free throw here to make it a two-point game. Short, rebound tipped, Lions has it, half quarter, off the mark, no good. And we've played three here. Parsons holding on for dear life with a three-point lead, 46-43 against the Fort Scott Tigers back in a minute on V93. V93.5, we have a full day of entertainment just for you, our favorite listener. Check out Terry Blackburn in the morning. Spend your lunch hour with our Taco Mile 80s and 90s at noon. Matt B. gets you through your workday with the afternoon hit mix. Spend your evening with the Zach Sang Show straight out of Hollywood. And last but not least, it's a throwback party every weekend on V93.5. Parsons Vikings Basketball is brought to you by Clemens Insurance Company, located at 401 North 16th Street. For all your insurance needs, call Jerry Clemens at Back here in Fort Scott, good news for Parsons Vikings fans. Daquan Johnson back in the lineup to start the fourth quarter after suffering some cramping issues late in the third. The bad news, two players with four fouls. Jump stop by Yates, looking for help. He gets it over to the Lions. Down low to Johnson, it won't go. 
They get Matt Campbell for his fourth. So that's the first Tiger with four fouls. Team foul number five. Or check that, four. My bad. On the drive, Dariq kicks it out to Lyons. Three-pointer is good. Boy, that's a big one. 49-43. Lead back up to six. Zeke hits his second three-pointer of the night. Misho on the far wing, up top to the hall. They down though. The pass goes to Campbell. He can't convert, and we got a whistle and a foul on four. Oh, they're going to call it a goaltend for slapping the backboard on Parsons. Count the bucket for Campbell. He's got four. 49-45 now the score. Yates drives the lane, contact, and they're going to call the charge on Devontae. He dropped that shoulder, and you do that more often than not, you're going to get called for a player control foul. His second, team six. Next foul on the Vikings puts the Tigers at the line. Jesse Jones with the ball. His team down by four. Now it's Jesse Lawrence. Three-pointer. Good! 49-48. The lead once 20, down to one. Pump fake by Zeke Lyons. Back to Dariq. Now Lyons again. He's going to drive. Dish. Johnson. Back to Yates. Yates puts it up and in. Devontae has got seven in the second half. 51 to 48. Back to a three-point lead. We got a moving screen called on Fort Scott. Is that going to be on Campbell? If it is, it's his fifth. No. They're going to call it on Hall. For Hall, it's foul number three. Fifth team foul. Lions thought about a three. Goes high post to Yates. Yates back to Zeke. Lions bounce pass tipped but into the hands of Johnson, or Williams rather, back to the Lions. His three-pointer won't go this time. Campbell boards it. Outlet to Jones. Down court to Misha. Back to Jones. Face left goes right. Goes high post to Campbell. On the wing to Jesse Lawrence. Pulls up for the 18-footer, or 15-footer rather. No good. Rebounded by Williams. Long lead pass. And a conversion by Daquan Johnson. Williams doesn't have any points tonight, but he's got a couple of assists. That was pretty. And the lead at 53-48. And we got a foul called on Fort Scott's Jesse Lawrence. That's his fourth. Six-team foul. And that means Parsons is going to get to keep the rock. And try to add to their lead. Tariq Williams is going to try the three. It's short, and then it hits the top of the backboard. That's a dead ball rebound. It goes to the Tigers. 53-48, the score stays, so Parsons cannot take advantage of the foul after the made bucket. Away from the ball. Carter Golston on the near wing. Goes up top to Misho between the circles. Back to Golston. Golston picked up there by... Williams, now hand off to Misha. Golston, Jones, he climbs on him. Jones uses the screen, he's picked up by Yates. Now Misha with it, ball tipped. Good play there by Johnson. Williams picks up the loose ball. Dish back over to Daquan. Daquan scores. Timeout called by Fort Scott as the Vikings find some second wind. The lead was down to one, it's back up. To seven, 55-48, back in one minute on V93. V93.5, we have a full day of entertainment just for you, our favorite listener. Check out Terry Blackburn in the morning. Spend your lunch hour with our Taco Mayo 80s and 90s at noon. Matt B. gets you through your workday with the afternoon hit mix. Spend your evening with the Zach Sang Show straight out of Hollywood. And last but not least, it's a throwback party every weekend on V93.5. 
Parsons Vikings Basketball is brought to you by Clemens Insurance Company, located at 401 North 16th Street. For all your insurance needs, call Jerry Clemens at 620-421-9999. Back here at Fort Scott, the Tiger Dome. Fort Scott with the ball, now down by seven to the Vikings. They've got the ball. Misho with it. Picked up there by Daquan Williams, or Daquan, Daquan Johnson, rather. Jones goes to Nick Lawrence. Hall. Back to Jones, Misho, top of the key, on the block to Nick Lawrence. He puts it off the glass, and good over Yates, 55-50. And the other way, we got a whistle and a foul. Ten points for Nick Lawrence. And Michaud picks his, his first personal, and it's team foul number seven on the Tigers, so a free throw's coming up. Free Williams. First time he's been at the line tonight, and he can't get it to go. Nick Lawrence with the board. show to Golston. Golston off the glass, and good! Leads down to three again, 55-52. Golston with four points. Little 1 2 2 zone press by the Tigers. Lodeholtz gets it over to Yates. Yates drives. Jump stop won't go. Lodeholtz battling for the board. Tipped out of bounds. Ball goes to the Tigers. Patch could not get his hand on the ball. And the Tigers with a three could tie it on this trip. 450 on the clock, or 350 on the clock, excuse me. Lawrence almost lost the ball. Hall picks it up. Michaud. Nick Lawrence on the left elbow. Back out to Goldston. Michaud on the block to Hall. Back to Michaud. Three-pointer off the mark. Hall battling for the board. It goes off the hands. It looked like it went off the hands of Hall. But the official is going to give it to the Tigers. I thought for certain that Hall was the last one to touch it. But that is not the call by the man in stripes, and that's the one that counts. 3.31 on the clock, still a three-point lead for Parsons. Michaud to Golston, far side wing, looking for an opening. Goes down on the block to Lawrence. Nick Lawrence, kick out to the elbow to Hall. Hall's going to make a move. Lots of time in that lane, no whistle. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Golston misses. Rebound by Misho, another chance for the Tigers. 3-10 on the clock, 55-52 our score. Fort Scott trailing, and a <laughs> offensive foul, I think you recall, a legal screen on Fort Scott. Jesse Jones whistled for his second. Eighteen foul, no free throws on the offensive foul, so Parsons will get the ball underneath the Fort Scott basket. Luke Walgamut checks back in for Parsons. Daquan Johnson to Zeke Lyons. Back to Johnson. Getting precipitously close to that three, uh, center court line before he gives it off to Williams. Now Johnson with it going back towards that center stripe. Lyons met with a double team, but he gets away from it. Pass in the corner to Williams. Now Yates with it. 2.30 on the clock. Down low it goes to Walgamot. Walgamot pushes it up. It crawls out. No good. Misho with it. To Lawrence. Back to Misho. Across to Golston. Down low to Hall. He's making a move on Walgamot with four fouls. He scores. The lead is one. 55-54. And just like that, Parsons answers. 
And Hall is down on the baseline. He is slow to get up. Now he's on his back. As the head coach for Fort Scott, Jeff Delatore, and the trainer come down and meet him. Now they're looking at his left ankle, it looks like. And again, there's a ceramic tile area right behind the baseline. If you're not watching on the live stream at klkcradio.com, it's not the best surface for anybody playing athletics to be near, let alone less than two feet from the baseline of a basketball court where there's some pretty hefty competition going. They're going to have to take Hall off with assistance to get him into the locker room and look at that left leg. That's a stroke of bad luck for the Tigers, but it could be good luck for the Vikings as Jordan Hall leaves the game right now with 15 points. 57-54 is our score. The preceding bucket did give Parsons back that three-point advantage, but still it's a one-possession game. Matt Campbell will check in to replace Hall. And Jones will bring it up floor for the Tigers. Campbell to Jones, near side wing. Now Golston with it, far side to Misho. Misho, top of the circle to Lawrence, Nick Lawrence. Now Jones, Misho pulls up for the three. Good, high ball game. Fort Scott has come all the way back. 1.40 on the clock when that shot was made. Not sure what happened there. I had my head down. The Parsons Vikings are going to inbound in front of the Fort Scott bench. Tie ball game with 1.36 to go. These two teams went to overtime the first time they played at Harold C. Johnson, Jim, and Parsons. Could we be looking at that again? Daquan Johnson letting that clock tick down. Fort Scott not making a defensive posture yet. Now they're going to come up. Bounce pass under the high post to Yates. Down to Dariq Williams. He scores. His first bucket of the game comes with 105 to go. 59-57. Steal and a score by Daquan Johnson. 61-57. The full court press worked perfectly there. Here comes Campbell. He'll put it up. Short. No good. Walk him out with the board, and he's fouled. 50.1 on the clock. And just as quickly as it was 57 all, Parsons gets the lead back up to four with a chance to go up by six. Campbell commits his fifth personal foul. He is disqualified with four points. Jesse Lawrence will come in to replace him. Luke Walgamot will go to the line. He's got one and one. These are a, it's a big free throw opportunity for the 6'5 junior. Shot is up and it crawls in. Walgamot earns the bonus. 62 57. Second free throw, also good. Walgamont in double figures with 10 points, 63-57. The lead is six. It's a two-possession game. Misho makes contact with Daquan Johnson. Johnson will be called for the foul. That's the 17th foul on the Vikes. Just the first one on Johnson. But Misho at the line with one and one. Joel Scheibe into the lineup. And Walgamot will have a seat. Two clutch free throws from Luke Walgamot. And now it's Misho's turn to see if he can convert the one and one. The 5'10 junior. Right hand shot is off. Derek Williams gets the ball and is fouled at midcourt. 
with 41 and a half on the clock. Alec Michaud gets his second personal. Team foul number 10, so double bonus time for the Vikings. If they can hit some free throws here, they will avoid the dreaded OT. First shot too strong from Dariq. Walgamot back in the game for Scheibe. One more free throw coming up for Dariq Williams. One of these going in would be good, and it goes. It is now a three-possession ball game, 64, 57. Patch Lodeholtz comes into the lineup, replacing Williams. Gutty performance by Williams tonight, coming off that sore knee suffered in the game against the Blue Comets last night. Jesse Lawrence, the man who hit the game winner in the first meeting at the ball, goes to Jones. Jones will trigger the three. It's good. 64-60, big shot for the Tigers there. Jones with the second three of the half. He has got eight points. Timeout called with 32.3 to go. We'll be back in one minute on V93, KLKC. V93.5, we have a full day of entertainment just for you, our favorite listener. Check out Terry Blackburn in the morning. Spend your lunch hour with our Taco Mile 80s and 90s at noon. Matt B, get you through your workday with the afternoon hit mix. Spend your evening with the Zach Sang Show straight out of Hollywood. And last but not least, it's a throwback party every weekend on V93.5. Parsons Vikings Basketball is brought to you by Clemens Insurance Company, located at 401 North 16th Street. For all your insurance needs, call Jerry Clemens at And a four-point lead for the Vikings. They've got the ball facing some full-court pressure by the Tigers. And it will be a foul called, I think, on Parsons. It will be called on Lyons. His second teammate. So a one-to-one -one opportunity for Nick Lawrence. He can get two free throws here. Make it a one possession game and it gets even more interesting with 26.2 on the clock. First free throw. No, he can't get it. Rebounded by Yates. Outlet to Johnson and Daquan is fouled by Carter Golston. His first. Two shots coming up for the six foot sophomore. Daquan perfect at the line tonight. Four for four, but has not been to the line in the second half. 22.9 on the clock, still a four-point Viking lead. They could use these two here. Oh, I can't get the first one to go. His first miss for the charity stripe tonight. One more free throw. Johnson puts it up. That one goes. 65-60, clock running under 20 seconds to go. Three-pointer from Jones, good. 65-63, this isn't over yet. Jones with 11 and a foul on Lyons in the corner. 12 and a half ticks. Another two big free throws coming up for the Vikings. Foul whistled on Michaud, Alec Michaud. That is his third. Double bonus time. Two shots coming up for Zeke. He's perfect. Two for two at the line. 
but he can't get the first one to go either. Same struggle that Daquan had. In fact, Daquan's trying to pump him up, saying, hey, I got the second one, you can too. We need this basket to get it to a three-point game. Second one on the way, perfect. Here come the Tigers. Golston hands off to Jones. He just hit a three-pointer. Now it's Jesse Lawrence on the drive. Here's contact and a foul with 5.4 on the clock. Dariq Williams charged with his third personal. Team foul number nine. This is a two-shot opportunity for Jesse Lawrence. He misses the first one. That's huge. He hit two free throws in the first quarter, but that was the only time he's been at the line tonight. Still 66-63, 5.4 to go. Second free throw coming up. Does he miss it on purpose? No, he hits it. We got a horn here. C.J. Horn's checking in. Sixty-six, sixty-four is our score. Inbound pass finds Yates. Yates is quickly fouled by Jones with 4.4 on the clock. Parsons, they're, you know they're leg weary. And this is why you run all that, those sprints and up and downs and then shoot free throws to make sure you can hit these when you're tired and in the clutch. First one is good for Yates. Nice second half for Devontae Yates. Eight points in the second half, 12 in the ball game. Looking for number 13 here, 67-64. It rims out no good. Nick Lawrence with the board. Jones with it. Two seconds. He lost the ball out of bounds on the near sideline. Timeout called by Parsons. We're going to take a one-minute break with 1.7 to go. Vikings on the verge. They're up three, 67-64. Back in a minute on V93. V93.5, we have a full day of entertainment just for you, our favorite listener. Check out Terry Blackburn in the morning. Spend your lunch hour with our Taco Mayo 80s and 90s at noon. Matt B, get you through your workday with the afternoon hit mix. Spend your evening with the Zach Sang Show straight out of Hollywood. And last but not least, it's a throwback party every weekend on V93.5. Parsons Vikings Basketball is brought to you by Clemens Insurance Company, located at 401 North 16th Street. For all your insurance needs, call Jerry Clemens at 1.7 to go here in regulation. Parsons up by 367-64 with the basketball. Inbound pass finds Lyons. He puts up the shot. It's off, but it doesn't matter. It's over. Parsons holds on for the big 67-64 win and makes their record 14-6 on the season and 8-4 in the SEK. A great finish in the league. For the Vikings, Tigers fall to 8 and 12, lose their fifth straight game, and fall to 4 and 8 in the SEK. We're going to take a three minute break, catch our breaths, maybe have a chat with Anthony Houck, and wrap this one up here from Fort Scott. Final score Parsons 67, Fort Scott 64, back in three minutes on V93. 